before we begin this month's plan with me, we just wanted to show you the brand new pens that we launched this week. They come in these two colors, a brown and a sage green. They are called Bolograph Rondo pens and it's a clicky retractable ballpoint pen. Very popular, particularly in Sweden where they're made. It has a distinctive, satisfying deep click and a soft touch or rubberized body. The trim is actual metal with a chrome tip and a chrome clip. So if you're looking for a great quality ballpoint pen to go with your planner, this is the top of the line. We also have launched these new pencils from Stabilo that we will be using in the spread for March along with the Unipin Fineliner in point one. We will also use the Zebra Mild Liners in these three colors, red, brown and gray. They come with a brush on one side and a marker on the other. We will also use the Imot Fineliners in these colors, a dark green and a greenish yellow. Along with those, we will also use the springtime sticker sheet with these cute bunnies, chicks, basket, flowers and wreaths. In this month's plan with me, we chose the sage green organizer with the green sage cover called Bloom. You can find this in the front cover section when designing your planner under themes. For the page layout, we chose the matching header to the front cover and the best of both layout with vertical dates. This is our option number six when selecting your weekly layout. You do have the option to choose to add details like lines, dot grids, etc. to the right page, but we opted just to leave it blank. We chose the tracker, best, worst, and quotes module for the bottom of the page. So to begin, I used the Stabilo pencil to sketch a basket and flowers on the right page. I wasn't sure what I was going to use the page for, but I wanted a springtime feel to the whole spread, so I began by sketching that. I figured I could add more detail if I decided to use it for like a tracker or a calendar on that page. I used the Unipin Fineliner in point one to fill in my sketch. Um, I started at the top and worked my way down so that I wouldn't smudge the ink with my hand.
I sketched a basket and wanted to create this basket weave for the actual basket and so I will show you guys how I drew that in an easy way. Uh, it is easiest done on a dot grid or squared paper but can be measured out on a blank paper or just eyeballed to get more of an organic feel with uh, the same pattern. So all you need to do is to draw 18 vertical lines from one dot to the other, leaving a space between each line. Six lines across by three lines down. Then you draw little boxes on the top and bottom of each line facing each other. Then you draw a line underneath the first small box across to the bottom of the facing box. You do this for all of the facing lines. Once that's done, you draw a line from the right side of the bottom box to the right side of the box below. Do the same for the right hand side you will notice that this begins to create a weaved look. That should be 12 lines going down. Now you will work from the top again and draw lines going left to right at the top of the two boxes and below the two boxes under that and repeat that for the entire thing. Suddenly you have a basket weave design. To add detail, you can add vertical and horizontal lines to show the direction of the weave. I applied this technique to the basket but gave it more of an organic look by not measuring each section of the basket weave. It takes a little bit of time but it has a satisfying result when you start to see the weave start to take shape. I added the vertical and horizontal lines for some extra detail to the basket. I also added details to the handle of the basket by drawing some angled strokes for a rounded shape. I then filled in the basket with the brown zebra mild liner. I created a bit darker brown in the folds of the basket weave by running my marker over it more times. I outlined the white flowers in the grey zebra mod liner to give them some more depth.
and I filled in the middle of the flower with the yellow green and mop fine liner. I also used this color for the bottle and glass. I used the red zebra mild liner for the strawberries and the green imot for the strawberries hull. I filled in the lettering with the green imot fine liner and colored the flowers around it with the grey zebra mild liner and the yellow imot in the middle. I picked three stickers from the springtime sticker sheet. This one with the tulips and a cute bunny sticker to go on the left hand page as well as a to-do sticker for Monday. Then I just went ahead and filled in the appointments and meetings of the week with the Unipin fine liner. I also filled in the bottom modules for the week. So this is how the March spread turned out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We love hearing from you guys. Please comment if you have questions, suggestions on our products or content in the comment section below. Happy spring!